So I wanted to take some time to showcase Craftsman's brand new digital torque wrenches in both the 3 8 and the 1 inch drive. I'll be showcasing the 3 8 as it's a lot easier to showcase on camera due to its shorter size, but I will be showing you how the 1 inch digital torque wrench works by checking the lug nuts uh, on my BMW M3 and making sure they're torqued down with this wrench. So I grew up knowing that there were three types of torque wrenches, the old cheap beam style, the dial gauge, which I think I've only seen in some motorsport applications and maybe some engine builders are using them, and then there's the very common click adjustable torque wrench. So right here, this is an example of a, the cheapest uh, click adjustable torque wrench you can get. You basically twist this handle down here to get the torque that you want. Something that click adjustable torque wrenches require is backing down the torque before you put it away. What that means is, let's say you were to put this up to about 140 foot-pounds and use it and then just store it away. That's actually really bad for the wrench because there's springs that are in here and over time, you know, there'll be a lot of stress on the spring. Um, but the best part about these new digital torque wrenches is there's no spring, it's all digital. Um, you can simply turn the wrench on to whatever the torque setting you left it on and it's ready to go. So the 3 8 digital torque wrench I have here is good for 20 to 100 foot-pounds, whereas the half inch digital is good for 50 to 250 foot-pounds. Both digital torque wrenches can be changed between newton meters, inch pounds, foot-pounds, kilograms per centimeter and of course degrees which is really good. Both torque wrenches are within a plus or minus 3% error on a clockwise um, usage and then a plus or minus 4% error on a counterclockwise usage. So as I mentioned I'll be using the 3 8 wrench for most of the video because of it actually fits in frame. Um, so I'm going to boot up the 3 8 So how you do that is you push the little button C right here and keep the wrench as level as possible or on a table or as near level as you can get. And what you'll see is a bunch of zeros on the little um, display and that basically is the wrench calibrating so it can you know, work to its optimum efficiency for you. So here we go, pushing C. And you see the zeros. And now it's ready. So what I have there is um, 88 uh, inch pounds just for I guess I was putting it up to the number of my lug nuts, but I do them in foot pounds, but I just wanted to see how far it went up. So I'm going to show you how the half inch digital, digital torque wrench works on my BMW E92 M3's wheel lug bolts. So I have the torque wrench currently set to 88 foot pounds um, before I use it. Whereas with more manual wrenches, uh, you're listening for or waiting for a noticeable click. That's why the adjustable ones are called click um, torque wrenches. Um, it basically lets you know that you're hitting the torque threshold and you should stop pulling or twisting the wrench. With the Craftsman digital torque wrenches, they give you two um, you know, things to look out for. So first is an audible beeping, which you will hear, and then there will also be lights. So what you'll see is a green light informing you that you're close to the torque threshold and the red light on the top will tell you that you're there. So look out for that when I use the wrench. So let me show you how the wrench works. Now these are already torqued down so we'll pretty much get right to the torque level. So here we go. There you go. Green and then red. So that's how easy it is to use, you know, this torque wrench. Um, the same goes for the three eighths. Um, you'll get the beeps and you'll get the green to then red letting you know that you're there. So I hope this video showed you, you know, a good close up look at Craftsman's newest um, digital torque wrenches. These are pretty great in my opinion. I really like the handle. Some, there's some other ones out there, obviously. Um, they have different handles, different styles, different color schemes, but I'm a craftsman guy and you cannot go wrong with these torque wrenches. If you have any questions about them, drop me a comment below. I'd be happy to 
um, answer them, or even if just any generic questions about torque wrenches, I'd be happy to drop knowledge where I can. Um, thanks for watching.